back here, First Things First. Undisputed is coming up next. Jenny Taft, good morning to you. Give us a rundown. What's going on on the show today? Yeah, what kind of lies y'all got going on today? I want to see LeVar back. I need more. I need oh more. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> guys, I think yesterday was enough. Maybe later. Maybe later. He's probably going to come to New York next, so you guys should be ready. Oh, uh, excited. For us, coming up on Undisputed this Friday, the Lakers won that thriller last night, so I'm expecting a little bit of a celebration from Shannon. Will that game turn their season around? And LeBron made some very interesting all-star game selections. Was there a method to his madness? Plus, Chris Broussard, Rob Parker are in studio with us. Undisputed coming up next. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you, Jenny. Broussard got big fired up yesterday on oh, Undisputed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, time for us to go viral. Yesterday, LeBron and Giannis drafted their all-star teams, as Jenny just mentioned. So the checkdown tweeted out, if NFL players had to hoop against the Lakers, who would you suit up? Falcons wideout Muhammad Sanu replied with Eric Weems, Marvin Jones, A.J. Green, Devontae Adams, and Keenan Allen. What See, a bizarre start right? lineup. See, who would be your first pick if you were drafting NFL players to play basketball? And now, you know, Patrick Mahomes is not allowed to play basketball. Yeah, if I'm drafting NFL players to play basketball, I, who am I taking? Yeah. I got a, I got a good idea. Uh, Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson is not that good at basketball, but I'm, I'm, I'm Gronk's going to be on my squad because I'm going to need to rough. I'm, I'm going to have to rough some people up. How do you know oh. how good Peterson is at basketball? How do you uh, know? I'm not, tell I'm me. not even going to tell you why. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to. I'm, I'm not even going to tell you. Him and Larry Fitzgerald. Well, just because Pat and Larry Fitzgerald are not good for. I mean, are very good. For oh, okay. And, all right. But I've been knowing Pat since he was a kid in South Florida. Because uh, Pat, all right. So you run into this. Every time you talk to him, it's like Belichick. I give you a defense from 40 years ago. Sure. Fair enough. All right. So who did you pick? I'm taking Gronk. I'm going to take um, lumbering. Keenan Allen is a good pick. He's a kid from North Carolina. He could have been All-American in high school. So Keenan Allen's going to get on the squad. Who else? I, I, I mean, Travis Kelsey. Oh, no. He could play. Tra there you go. He could really play. I played basketball with him in South Florida. Oh, how about this guy? Mustachio. And Quan oh. Bolton's going to get a spot, too, because I've seen him ball before. That was, that was a little highlight reel, reel of Chris Carter in the NFL. Say, I'm trying to find some highlights of me playing basketball in high school. Right. If anyone has some highlights of myself. Back with, like, if you, so I think back then it would be on, like, 8 millimeter. I have high millimeter, and I have cold water. <laughs> Which one do you want? Okay. This Which one do you bad. want? This is not bad. No, I miss all, pistachio. All Carter. these things right here made it possible for shows like mm -hmm. this. It's true. It's true. And that, we are for Ever oh, no, yeah, oh, yeah. Look, just, at, my man, look at my man, one chain. The video. Check out one chain. Yeah, that's when I had downgraded, man. Ooh. I had downgraded. All right. We good? Yeah. I had a bunch of chains, but I went through a process. All right, where here we go. I need a little You're fast selling, cash. You're selling them. Back to well, the Lakers and the Celtics last night. Let me Pick hold us up one at the very end. 90 seconds these. left. Kyrie finds Marcus Morris for three. Celtics up six. Next possession, KCP in the corner. Nails the three. Lakers back within three under a minute to go. LeBron loses the ball. Saves it to KCP. Back to LeBron. Oh, that's good. Lakers tied up. LeBron had a triple-double. Boston now to Cal Kuzma from long with under 20 seconds left lakers go up one on the other end now kyrie driving past kuzma hits the layup over tyson chandler celtics back up one closing seconds brandon ingram drives blocked by al horford rajon rondo that is good the last second buzzer beater and the lakers pull out the big win over the boston celtics 129 128 a win they really needed after the day they had here's rondo on his mindset as he took the game winner just get it up. Get the arc up. Um, you know, believe it or not, I always dream like this, you know what I mean? But I couldn't picture it being this sweet coming back on, you know, 13 years in, you know, where it all started. Uh, team struggling right now, and it's, I think it's going to be definitely a confidence boost, of course. I mean, it's only right. It's only right that uh, the ball find Rondo's hand some way, somehow, and he's able to drain it. Um, he's one of our captains on our team, one of our catalysts. And uh, he might not talk about it, but I know he's ex uh, excited as hell to, you know, to play here in the garden. And then to make that shot right there, it was big time for our team. For us to come out and with everything we've been dealing with, you know, not just trade rumors, but freaking injuries and, you know, imbalanced rotations and everything, it was great just to get a win. And, um, you know, we can build on this uh, potentially. 
All right, CC. so a thrilling finish to an otherwise disappointing day for the Lakers. Where do the Lakers stand now to striking out with AD, but then pulling off the win over Boston? I mean, if you look at the last 72 hours and you're trying to be fair, it, you'd have to realize it's been very tough on the Lakers, on the younger players. And we tend to miss veteran players because we're like, oh, veteran players, they've been through more. But this tough on LeBron, too. He's had to sit those 18 games, seeing the younger players struggle where they were, they had gotten significantly better playing with LeBron. And LeBron can help cover up some of your awards. Their lack of ball handling, things like that. LeBron could do that. Closing out games where we saw a sure enough weakness as far as with these younger players, LeBron was able to cover those things up. So this has been hard on the younger players. It's been hard on the front office. The coaching staff is hard on. They're getting ready to fire them. Remember that Luke Walton rumor over the last couple weeks? So it's been hard all the way around. But to me, I saw these veterans take a situation, and it was really in that second quarter, where they started to mount this comeback where they could have easily Let gotten go the blown ring. out. They were down 18 with four I mean, exciting the Boston quarter. crowd. I mean, you got the Patriots right there courtside watching, Belichick, other players. Like, that was a very tough environment. But for them to fight back, starting with LeBron, Lance Stevens in that second quarter, fighting it back to halftime, and then in that third quarter, really playing some good basketball. This is a critical win for them. And, and, and Nick, you brought up something that I was not aware of as far as, forget the coaching staff, one of these veteran players in Rondo decides that they're going. he's going to get the team The together. day before, so Wednesday, the day before the trade deadline, Rondo sent out a group text to, I think, the entire team and said, hey, let's get together and, and basically run, four on four. Ten guys show up, guys getting their mind off of potentially being traded, and then the trade deadline comes and goes, and the team remains the same. For, uh, side note, great day for the NBA. Everyone's focused on the trade deadline, so there is, is something big going to happen. Then yeah. the, the all-star draft is the pregame show to this. That, that was the, exciting. Giannis and LeBron were great. And then one of the very best games of the season. And for the Lakers, I, and I got to own this as well because I'm, I was one of the primary people. Nobody thought two weeks ago the Lakers were going to get Anthony Davis this year. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as it became a possibility, it became a necessity. And I, you know, I said, listen, the only thing to salvage their season is getting Anthony Davis. So and it, Nick, you've had patience for four years. You've been like, oh, no. Just wait till the first playoffs. Year. Oh, no problem. The second year, they gave it a win. The third mm -hmm. year, oh, no. Last year, right. everyone, man, let's sell everyone. Get mm -hmm. rid of everyone. Nick's like, oh, everything's going to be it's okay. It's going to be okay. And <laughs> by the way, there is, and at last year, this week, LeBron's team lost by 42 and then had an mm. even worse loss in Orlando where they blew a 16-point yeah. halftime lead turned into an 18-point loss. And then right at the trade deadline, they won a game on a buzzer beater, and it was a fork-in-the-road moment for their season. The Lakers lost by 42 and then won a game at the buzzer, and we'll see if it's a fork-in-the-road moment for their season. Now, the difference is they didn't make the wholesale changes right. the Cavs did last year. But... The, the point I was making about what ne wasn't even a possibility two weeks ago became a necessity, you felt like, oh my God, like, if the, could the Lakers be a championship contender this season? And I think people, myself included, lost the perspective of this year was supposed to be a building year. And it was all building in the right direction until LeBron got hurt. They were fourth in the West. They were 21 and 15. They were getting better. They were closing out games. Then LeBron got hurt. Then the Anthony Davis rumors came up. And it felt like they had to do something. Because they didn't get blown out last night, they didn't let go of the rope, they, they got very fortunate to get that win at all, now you look at it like, okay, they're three games back, not of the playoffs, but of the seven seed, where they really could do damage in the playoffs. The young guys, at least for the moment, for the rest of the year, know we're not going anywhere, we can't go anywhere, and LeBron looks very close to back to being fully healthy LeBron. So they had a, this plan, right? This plan of what they were going to do, the three-year, four-year plan, mm -hmm. what it was going to look like. Mm -hmm. Do they have to go to plan B now? Is this part of plan A? Does plan A still involve them making the playoffs? Well, their original plan was to have this young group play with LeBron, add some veterans around it to be able to get them back into the playoffs. They haven't been in the playoffs for several years. They're going through one of the worst three-year periods in Laker history, and they were the worst in the NBA over that same period. So the plan was get LeBron secured, groom these young players that they might evolve. Lonzo Ball, let him get more leadership role. Can he shoot the basketball better? All these guys had things they had to work on. But then came a couple announcements. 
Number one was Anthony Davis had fired his agent and he was going with Clutch Sports. And then once he announced to the team, the Lakers, they had to try to get in. They had to try to put these plans on the back burner because you don't want Boston and what they can offer him to get in it this summer. Right. So the Lakers had to do what they had to do. Now they have to get refocused back, and I think that's what Rondo was trying to do with that uh -huh. unscheduled uh -huh. practice. A hundred percent. And if the Lakers season does turn around, we can look to a stretch from four minutes left in the third, in the second, until two minutes left in the third, where the Lakers outscored the Celtics by 25 points and LeBron scored or assisted on 38 of those points wow. when they didn't let go of the rope mm -hmm. that let them come back in the fourth quarter and now be right there in the playoff picture. Have a great weekend, guys. You as well. Talk Fun week of shows. On Monday, Undisputed starts right now.